All right, so in this video, we are gonna be going over comping within batch leads. So what's really great about batch leads is you can comp in any of our features, any of our add-ons. So you can comp uh, in your property section, you can comp from the list add-on, and you can also comp within the inbox while you're texting. So I'm just gonna briefly show you where those are located in each feature, and then we'll go ahead and dive in on how to actually use the comping tool. So first things first, we'll just start in the list search here. Uh, so this is where you can search and locate new properties or new leads and download them into your database. So this is essentially your lead generator. So you're just going to search an area. So I'll search Phoenix, Arizona. And then here, this is where you're going to put filters on your list. So that way you're pulling a niche list of properties that you're downloading into your database. So you're just getting properties that have motivation. I'm just going to pick a, a quick filter down here. So in Phoenix, Arizona, I want all of the, let's say, we'll just do the vacants. Um, I'll just pull that one really quick. So how you can comp here is you're just going to click the property address and then you are going to click the comparables tab here and then you're going to go ahead and um, set your filters and we'll go over that in just a second but this is where you can find comps within the list add-on now the property section is the second location where you can comp properties all you're going to do is just click on the property address you wish to comp and then here you can view the comparables tab there as well. All right, so the third and last place that you can comp within batch leads is within the inbox while you're texting. So you can see here, um, I'm within the inbox right now. I have somebody who told me 320,000 for a price for this property. So where you're gonna go is you're just gonna simply click on the property address again and it's gonna pull up that profile of the property. And then again, we're gonna find that comparables button right here. So we're gonna go ahead and click that, and then now we're gonna walk through how to comp this property. So you have all of your filters off on the right here. When you're comping, you essentially wanna pretend that you're an appraiser. So a few appraisal rules for comping is you never wanna leave an area. You wanna stay within a quarter to a half mile of the property you're comping. You wanna make sure it's you know, the exact same type of property. So if it's residential single family home, you wanna make sure that you're comping with other single family homes. If it's a single level, you wanna make sure that your comp is also a single level. Uh, if it's a three bed, two bath, you wanna make sure that anything you're comping is also a three bed, two bath. You wanna make sure that what you're comping has been sold within, I would say probably three to six months, especially if the market's really hot. And then you wanna make sure that it's within five years construction, the property that you're comparing it to. So over here, we're just gonna look at our default filters and then you can also save filters as well. But as mentioned, we wanna make sure that it's set to residential since this is a residential home that we are comping. We're going to uh, make sure that it's on single family so I'm not pulling any townhomes or condos or anything like that. And then here I'm going to exit out of active and pending because those homes might not actually sell for that amount. They might sell over, they might sell under. So I'm just going to eliminate those two and just go with what's sold. And then I'm going to change this sold within the last six months built within the last five years and then located within one mile obviously if you're in a rural area you can definitely expand that feature you can kind of look in the larger distance of things and then we are going to set that filter okay so another rule here is i want to stay within this neighborhood so i don't want to cross any major cross streets so we do have a boundary tool. You're just gonna click this cropping feature here, and then I can just ensure that all of the properties I'm comping are within this specific neighborhood. An appraiser would never leave a neighborhood. Now down here, we can see all of those properties that pulled up around this guy right here, and we can start to comp. So this first one with the star is the property that we're comping and we can take a look at the pictures. This is from the MLS database, which is awesome. So I can kind of see the inside. I can see how up 
you know, if it's been updated or if it hasn't, right? All right. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to look at these other ones here and see if they fit a perfect comp. So these are all within a half mile. Let's see, we have some four bedrooms, two baths, and they're within 200 square feet of each other, which is great. So we're definitely going to like this one. All right, so we're just gonna go ahead and thumbs up this one because it really does fit pretty well. It's within five years of being built as well, and it was sold within the last six months. Yeah, this is a perfect comp. And you can see that it put a little thumbs up on the map here, which is really cool. We also have like a thumbs down or a question mark, things like that, which is really neat. So we can go ahead and click this picture and just kind of look at the inside here and see if it's been remodeled or anything like that. So it's really just going to give you an idea of you know how they really compare so you can grab other comps too you can see the estimated value will change once you start selecting different comps so let's go ahead and keep going uh, we've got another I would say this one's a little too big so we're gonna go ahead and grab this second one as well we can see the thumbs up is there and we can take a look at the inside of this one see if it's been remodeled inside and then it's up to you how many um, comparables you want to grab we can also grab this second one here and you can see that the estimated value is changing as we're grabbing different comps and comparables so what we can do now is once we're happy with what we've got we can go ahead and click actions and we can actually export this comp list you can export it to an excel spreadsheet you can also email it to yourself too so you'll just put your email destination there and then you can send the file over. All right, and then if we're happy, we're super satisfied with this filter that we have set for our comparables, we do have this new feature with, with our update and you can actually click this drop down menu and we can save this selected filter and you can just go ahead and name this. So maybe I'll put this as my Phoenix comping filter. And then I'll click Save. And now, no matter where I'm at in Phoenix, if I want to use these specific rules, um, I can just go ahead and click that specific filter and it'll automatically set that within that area. And that is comping in batch leads. If you have absolutely any questions, please feel free to reach out to your account manager. You can locate their information in the top right corner of your account under settings and you'll see their name, their picture, <laughs> and you'll get their email and their phone number as well. We also have a live chat support that you can access. Just click this B right here and click chat with us. And we have live representatives all day long. So thank you for joining us and I hope that this video is helpful.